You see this? Do you see this? I have been avoiding these drawers for like three years. This has to stop now. Hello everyone! Today's video is going to be a little bit different because currently we are sitting on my floor. And today I am doing the video that I have been putting off for months. Like months now. And that is cleaning out my drawers of lip products. There are so many different shades in there. It is incredibly overwhelming. A lot of the products have expired by this point. It's a collection of products that I have purchased, things that have come in from brands, and it just sits there because I'm too scared to open the drawers half the time. So first of all, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be taking all of the products out of my drawers and then I'm gonna be dumping it onto this white sheet that's really old and also stained with makeup. And I'm gonna comb through. I'm gonna get rid of the stuff that's clearly expired and I'm going to put into bins stuff that can be no donated to either friends and family or it can go to women's shelters that are local to the area, things like that. And then I'm gonna set aside products that I still use and I really, really like. And then also products that I want to test out more that I feel I didn't give enough of a chance to. Maybe I'll do another one of those full face of products that I'm throwing out or maybe throwing out products that I'm not sure if I wanna keep or not. Maybe I'll do another one of those. Let me know if you want to see that, but that's basically what I'm going to be doing today. And I'll try and highlight um, my favorite in each of the categories of like reds, pinks, nudes, purples, and darks. That's kind of how I organize everything. Um, my favorite in the high end and my favorite in the drugstore, so you guys can kind of get a semblance of what I like. Um, but yeah, that is what today's video is going to be. Give it a thumbs up if you like declutter videos and make sure you check out the playlist with all of my declutter videos that I've done over the years. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Thursday and also on Sunday. And without further ado, let's get into this. These are all ones that I either really, really like or the ones that I feel like I want to try again. Ones that I haven't given enough time and, and um, testing to. And so now that that is done, let's go on to the pink drawer. I feel like this is gonna get very messy very soon. This one's a fun drawer because the divider that I put in here doesn't even serve its purpose anymore. It, it just, it was crushed under the mountain of pink lipsticks. Now right here we have all the pinks, which in and of itself is disgusting. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna grab the nudes because for me, like a nude color for me is gonna be different on, than a nude color for someone else. So I am going to kind of combine the two drawers together so I can get a really good sense of what I consider pink and what I consider nude. And uh, yeah, start combing through this. All the pinks and the nudes. Here we go. To give you guys a sense of what I'm kind of doing and how I'm handling this is what I'm doing is I'm grabbing like a handful of them and then I'm judging that particular handful at a time. And then I'm kind of going through, have I worn this recently? Do I like the color? Am I unsure about it? Do I want to test it again or do I want to donate it and give it to a good home or is it just super old and I need to get rid of it? So I've started my piles of kind of nude colors and pink colors and then some colors that I'm not sure about yet. Kind of want to test them out, um, especially nude colors because they look so different on every single skin tone. So want to test those out and then we'll continue on. Oh look, that one right there doesn't even have a lid. Cool. I'm basically working on this all afternoon and then I took a break for dinner and now I'm back at it and it's taking me a lot of time, like more time than I thought it would. I thought I'd be like, yeah, get rid of this, get rid of this. But like a lot of colors have specific memories for me or they're like cult favorites or they're just like products that I want to love and so I keep them. That's what I have so far and what I'm keeping, which isn't, you know, great, but it's a great start. 
And now I have here, um, I just combined all my darks and all of my, I have like a drawer for purple. I had a lot of purple lipsticks. I don't know why, but I did. So now I'm gonna go through these. I feel like I'm gonna cull a lot of these because I don't wear a ton of dark lips. And when I do, it's typically stuff that I'm testing out that's new. And if I love it, I keep it. Um, but I have to really love it um, to keep a dark lip. So I'm hoping I will do a good job at kind of getting rid of a lot of these and giving them to a good home. Unlike nudes, where I've clearly kept, like, it feels like most of them. Even though I've got, I've, like, I've donated a ton of them. <laughs> oh my gosh, Rachel, you have a problem. Guys, I totally forgot about this. I have this bin that's been hiding back here. Ugh. All right, guys. So this is what I've ended up with from like 800 <laughs> lip products. I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm gonna go and put it back in the drawers and kind of walk you guys through some of my favorites in the high end of the drugstore. All right, starting with the reds, you guys can see here, I just kind of putting them away. And here is the before and the after so we can see we are a lot lighter in here this is still too many reds for one human but you know what it's a start so some standout ones for me in each of these categories um number one i've talked about before the infallible pro matte liquid lipsticks i really like these this is in matador just a really pretty um color and it stays put really well and then from this drawer which is the high end i love this is the Sephora Matte. Um, this is the Cream Lip Stain, and this is in the shade 01, just 01. I also really love the um, Too Faced Melted Latex. Uh, in the darker colors, it's more like something I put on top of a long wear product, because it just gives a really beautiful, glossy shine with a lot of pigment, it's so pretty. Um, and then a lot of these, I'm like, I haven't used these in a while. I want to play around with them. So I kept a bunch of them, um, but those are kind of the standouts there. And <laughs> let's move on to pink. So you guys can see here, we have cut down dramatically. Here's the before and the after. This is much better. You can see that the divider is nicely attacked. And some of my standouts from here, first of all, these L'Oreal, um, these are the Color Riche Shine lipsticks and they are beautiful beautiful color beautiful shine they are just they feel so good on the lips i love these um and i also like the nyx um powder puff lippies in the like nude colors i think they're really really pretty they give like a, a pretty blurred effect which is gorgeous and then on this side, all of these peachy colors down here, all these like Too Faced Sweet Peach, this NARS one in the shade Valencia. Um, I'm also in love with this, this is the um, Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine. These are really pretty. And this one is in Snitch, gorgeous shade. And this is like a coral color from Buxom. You probably notice I have a lot of these just because they, they feel really nice and they are easy to apply and they're a nice like thicker liner. So I don't know, I find them to be really easy and so I have a lot of them, but this is an intrigue. And now for the nude category. Um, this one was a bear to cull and edit and declutter, but I feel like we've done a pretty good job and it's now in a much, much better spot. Um, so you guys can see before, and here we have the after. I have a lot of high-end lip colors in the nude category. Wow. So here I feel like I have too many favorites because obviously I wear a lot more of the nude shades than I do of like the bright colors on like an everyday basis. Um, so Nudist by L'Oreal, the Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. This stays on forever. Such a good one. Um, again, the Powder Puff in these light shades. Beautiful. I also like the Stay Matte liquid lipstick from Rimmel, um, also really pretty. And then sliding over to the high-end side, um, this Kylie one, I think this is a Malibu? Yes, it is. This one, I love, love this color. Oh, I forgot to talk about some of the ColourPop ones. Hang on. Magic Wand, classic. Times Square is another good one that I really like. I don't know where that is. Echo Park is also really good. Love those ColourPop ones. <laughs> but back to this side. Um, Tarte has a couple. Um, the Tartus Lip Paints. So there's Bestie is a really pretty one. Just a nice... I feel like this... It just looks good on 
everyone that I've put it on. It's a really pretty shade, nice and warm, but not too warm. Has a little bit of pink to it. It's, it's really gorgeous. Also, again, I can't stress how much I love these ones. This is the Melted Latex. This is uh, Hopeless Romantic. I also like Peekaboo in this um, particular brand. And this is the Bite Beauty. This is the French Press. This is Salted Caramel. This is Gord Caramel? Caramel. Caramel. It's caramel. I remember trying it out. I was like, oh, it's gonna be too warm on me, but it looks good when I have warmer shades on. And then for the MAC lipsticks, this is a blankety, which is, <laughs> I can just scroll it up. It's a classic. It's so beautiful. Then I managed to get these two drawers down to just the one, which is awesome. I'm pretty proud of myself for that. So the fact that I get it from this down to this many lip products is a pretty impressive for me at least if i do this on myself and on this end of things i'm really enjoying this uh shade by nyx the um suede and soft spoken really pretty um also again <laughs> the pro matte infallible by l'oreal uh the color pop ultra matte this is in the shade roach really gorgeous um, and then on this side of thing, like all these colors are really gorgeous. I love this one by Buxom. This is um, Pin Up Plum. And uh, yeah, like they're all just, this is again, Sephora. I, I went through a stage of like the luster mats and I was obsessed with them. I cannot believe that I managed to do it. It is 10.30 at night and I'm finally like done. I feel good, a little overwhelmed, but I feel like this is a good process. So let me know if there are other um, areas of my makeup collection that you want to see edited next. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite lip color is, what your favorite brand of lip product is. I want to know. Check out the videos on the side if you have missed any and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Thursday and Sunday. And that's everything. I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome week and I'll see you all in my next video. Love you all. Mwah.